So if it says Amish on the label, does that mean that it's Amish? We have to understand the Amish name is very attractive from a marketing perspective. It has a lot of associations with things like quality, homemade, all natural, family craftsmanship, those types of things, which are all appealing to consumers. So it's not surprising that people who are selling Amish made products or Amish style products would like to label uh, those products with the Amish name. But typically, the Amish themselves do not use the name Amish to promote their products for the most part. There are some exceptions to that, but the names of Amish businesses are typically not going to have Amish in the name. They're often going to be like kind of boring names like RNS Sales, for example. They'll often have just like a couple of initials to name the business and maybe the husband and the wife's initials. Or for example, you often see them named after geographical features. Sunny Valley Foods. So the names of Amish businesses typically don't have Amish in them. So if you see a business with the name Amish in it. It's an Amish furniture, Amish foods, Amish this, Amish that. Odds are that is a non-Amish person that's selling, maybe selling actually Amish products as a third party, as a reseller, but it's not Amish owned. At the same time, you may also see some people that are selling products that aren't from the Amish, but they may still use the Amish name to some degree. For example, the term Amish country is commonly used to mark products that are maybe sold in the area where the Amish live, but are not necessarily from the Amish, or to describe businesses from you know that area. They get the appeal of kind of the Amish name, and it's not, but we're not necessarily saying this is from the Amish, but we're saying it's from... Amish country, or we're located in Amish country, the general area where Amish live. Thus, we can call our business, you know, Amish country this or Amish country that. It just attests to the power of the Amish name uh, and the appeal of it, you know, in selling things. You know, the Amish tend to have a good reputation for making quality furniture, producing quality food. Amish builders, very good at building homes. People recognize that and they want to tap into that perception, into that value. And again, sometimes it's justified. Sometimes those third parties are actually selling Amish goods. They may have an arrangement with an Amish producer to sell their products for them. And that's quite common. And in those cases, from what I've seen, the Amish themselves typically don't mind that their products are sold under the Amish label, even though they wouldn't use that language themselves. The logic being it's a third party doing it, you know, they can sell it however they want to. But the Amish tend to shy away from using that language just because it's, you know, if you ask the Amish what religion are they, they would say the Christian. Uh, the Amish, the question, does it describe a culture or a religion? That's a whole, you know, other topic. But, you know, you might say they are Amish Christians, okay? So it kind of has elements of both. I think in part because of that, the, the Amish tend not to use the word Amish in their marketing and in describing themselves. Although I have seen examples where some Amish uh, businesses have done that. You may have seen that as well, but that's the general rule. Amish businesses are going to have more, let's say, mundane uh, names. Initials or geographical features are very common. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, hit the like button. If you'd like to catch more videos, hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop. Thanks, and I will talk to you next time.